Hi there, my name is JJ O'Shaughnessy and welcome to Carrier Command, which I'm in the beta of. A pay, they have a pay and contribute uh, thing going. So I paid my money so I get to um, beta it. What a life. Anyway, this is the um, modern remake of the uh, Atari ST Commodore 64 Sinclair Spectrum uh, game, which was extremely popular way back in the day, in the golden days of computing. But uh, they're doing, they're giving it the modern bells and whistles and whatnot. Now, I, this is in the middle of a game where I was scouting an enemy base with a with an aircraft which is called Mantas, and this particular Manta had no armor; all it had was a pair of machine guns. So it was extremely fast, which made it very good for recon. This this ice this island's defense rating was rated strong, which means that uh, the enemy turrets do a lot more damage and have more armor. So they're uh, so basically you don't want to go near them with aircraft. Particular, but the fact that this is so fast means I can generally risk uh, flying around a bit and getting a, the lie of the land. Now it's called Carrier Command, obviously, because you, so you have a carrier. Basically, you've got a command of four aircraft and four amphibious vehicles, which are called walruses. Now I'm just telling my Manta to dock, and then I'm going, then I'm taking command of one of the walruses. I'm using the radial menu there to order my the rest of the walruses to assist me, which means follow me and use their AI. Now number eight is equipped with flat guns. So it's uh, they're doing a good job of taking out that aircraft. That blue, blue flash was from the carrier's main gun. Um, the whole point of the game is to take over islands, one of which you see here. Now the reason I'm sending them, the walruses up there is because there's two particular um, the, this anti-aircraft turrets, which um, I know for a fact I will destroy my aircraft or send it near them. You can do go first person or over the shoulder view as I'm just showing there. I should mention that um, this is on the lowest graphical setting possible because my mach my machine isn't particularly brilliant. Um, however, as you can see, it looks pretty good. The uh, driving system is you is I control the turret with my mouse and I control the uh, actual tank movement with with the keyboard. Unfortunately, because I haven't had the game very long, I pretty much suck. So basically, if there's a tree, I run into it. Uh, a bit of snowfall there, just to kind of make me feel even even much better. But uh, yeah, what can I say? You know, a tree versus my tank means the tree wins. Well, it doesn't at least it doesn't move. Anyway, my shell weapon, it's called shell, it's probably going to be called something different in the actual game, but basically I am uh, trying to kill the other turret there. There it goes. Number eight's chasing off after the, the tank with the laser gun there, trying to hit it with his flat guns. I'm moving the other three of my uh, aircraft down. Uh, really, I should, at this point, I should have launched uh, number two to join them. But anyway, uh, now my tanks are getting really enthusiastic there, so I'm completely stuck. So eventually I figure, okay, I better just move along where there's no trees, because that might be sensible. Yeah, it pretty much was. Now, as I say, it still looks pretty pretty nice, even on the minimum graphic settings. I don't have shadows enabled either. Shooting it through the trees won't actually work. I'm trying to get to another anti-aircraft turret to, to take it out. But since it doesn't really affect it outside, I'm going to launch an attack on the production facilities there. Now, no, now when I tested this before, the, my aircraft just swooped in and just attacked the... Um, had attacked it and just leveled it. Unfortunately, they just maybe because they got stuck on mountains or something, they uh, just decided not to do much at all, and they started getting shot at by the tanks down down below there. Not to mention an aircraft. Eventually, I decide to send number five back for repair. I take full, I take personal control of number four. Really, you're supposed. I think you're supposed to take full command of aircraft and your tanks like this. It's more fun if you do anyway. My rockets. There goes my rockets. As you can see, they do a pretty good job of destroying ground targets. I'm taking out the aircraft protection facility as well. There it goes, and I send my number four back for repair, and just about gets out there. Unfortunately, number three decides to be a hero. Cause splash. 
I should have set my set them onto defensive mode with the radial menu. But anyway, it's easy to think. Anyway, I've got I've taken control of number eight by accident. So I say, right, start it. I'm going to just going to use my flat guns in line in bore sight mode because why not? So taking out some turrets over there, which actually worked very well. I was very surprised at that small moment. Anyway, back to number seven. You can see number nine's repair gun f firing away there. Now there's, t there's an enemy tank down here. What I really want to do is take out the anti-aircraft gun on the on the coastline. Number eight again is blasting away with its with its flat gun, not to any great effect. I'm using my shell weapon. As you can see down the down below, the, the rest of my mantas have docked and are being repaired. Well, that uh, tank is an X tank, as they say. Now I was about to to engage the um, anti-aircraft gun, but number eight was under attack. You can see number six is laser gun firing there, so I decided to go. I'd better just go up and deal with it and deal with the remainder of the tanks up there. Of course, my aim is absolutely shocking. I, I do more damage myself sometimes than the enemies. Anyway, there we go. Kaboom. Now there's a couple of uh, there's a couple of um, turrets up here which is basically attack everything. They're machine turret, machine gun turrets, so I'm going to take those out. I'm shelling them as much as I can. There they go. Now at this stage, I'm getting warnings that my uh, that's, that my carrier is under attack and my offensive weapon is taking damage, but I'm ignoring it because I just want to want to concentrate on getting this mission done and then getting my getting my tanks over and and uh, across the island and back home. So again, I can't hit anything to save my life, so I'm just going to move up to uh, to get a better shot. There we go. Now I'm finally hitting something. Kaboom. There it goes. Now, at this stage I decided to get my aircraft back out. That's a shot, a shot at the inside of the carrier. So they're launching. You can see up on the up on the on the top uh, on the top right hand corner the view from the unit that's being um, controlled. I just tell my tanks to move out there. They're fully amphibious. So the uh, the tank is an X tank. Now the carrier, as you can see, uh, basically its uh, its main gun is out, is offline right now, and it's got damaged other systems. But I decided I better get my Manta replaced. So uh, there's a Walrus, there's a machine gun. Then I realize I've forgotten to actually build up a stockpile of ships, and I'm building uh, some level two armor, which is good, but I need some something with a bit more punch. So. I select a laser gun, which is pretty good on uh, on aircraft, and I get some rockets. And I move the the whole the whole thing uh, of carrier command is to take over islands, which give you resources and production capability, so you can build build more um, build more stuff to put on your to put put on your units, so you can take stronger islands like this. Number eight, unfortunately, has gotten a bit stuck, so I take manual control of it. Again, you kind of the, the I, even though people are complaining about the pathfinding, I th find it reasonably okay. You just need to kind of give it a bit of help now and again. Now I'm getting my guys back into back into position. Number two, I decided to, to actually bring number two in with some machine guns to take out this tank. Rockets would probably have taken it out as well, but that, that they're kind of ex they're somewhat expensive to re to rearm from the carrier's fuel reserves. So I just thought, I think besides, what the heck? Let's go in with, with machine guns, old school. There we go. Now I'm just going to skip ahead a bit to uh, to show you what what this, what it looks like when the actual uh, when my tanks actually get get onto the um, carrier. Now here I've just just set one of my mantas to attack and 
tank there. You can see my other tanks coming up. Uh, this is this is my uh, laser armed. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it's much more effective than the machine gun. Bring that home. Uh, here's my, uh, like as I said, the mount is a fully amphibious. There's a nice shot of the carrier there. And as you can see, the, uh, the side banks are opening up for my, for my tanks to kind of come on in. That's number eight coming in, so I just told it to, to dock and it's just uh, going to handle that itself. Now I think I'll finish up by showing you when I got a little clever and I tried to sneak one of my tanks behind the enemy base to try and take out its anti-aircraft guns, which involved an awful lot of me driving around rocks and stuff. But I got it up here and I was thinking, yeah, fantastic, and then of course the enemy didn't really like it all that much. Of course, me shooting the shell weapon at such close range means I was damaging myself as well, but I thought, no, I'm going to, I, 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 oh, oh. Kaboom. Yeah. The AI isn't not, isn't that really silly. So I just thought I'd just show you what happened, what would happen if I didn't, um, if I just attacked with, with my Mantis straight away. And remember, there's just one of these anti-aircraft guns left. So yeah, here comes Manta 4 with its rockets going dun da 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 dun da 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 dun da 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 Choo, choo, choo. Uh oh, yeah, it noticed. And yeah, there I go. Kaboom. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little video, and I'm having a lot of fun with Carrier Command. And, um, well, it's out in September. Talk to you later.